Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UFI projects. And in this project, we'll learn how to convert an image to base 64. So we have also written an article for you and the link will be added in the video description. So the very first thing that we need to understand is the use case where we need to convert an image to base 64. So many times there is a requirement to send your image file to backend and the backend will save the file in some raw format, right? So you can just easily convert your image into base 64 and you can pass that base 64 to your backend. This is a very simple scenario. You can either use JavaScript to convert image to base 64, where uh, you use uh, something called reader dot read as data URL. And it's a lengthy process where you add an event listener and all that is something that we don't want to use in UI five. So for that, we have also created a different code. And in this particular code, we use something called file reader. And when we load the file, we get the file data. So it extract the base 64 from the file reader. So this function is the one that is used to convert an image into base 64. So we'll just quickly jump to the coding part. So if I refresh this part, so if you see, we have something called XML and control in XML, we have upload collection, upload collection will be used to upload the image file. We have created a text area where we will store the base 64. In real scenario, you don't store it anywhere. You send it to backend. Now in the controller, you see on change DP on change DP is written within the upload collection. When it is called, it takes, takes the image, whatever image you have passed is passed to file and it creates a new image using image function of JavaScript. And also it creates a file reader using the file reader function of JavaScript. And when the image loads, it uh, extracts the value in the result format and that data is actually storing the base 64 value. So in the end, we just set the value in the text area. The text area has ID as base 64 area, right? That's it. So that's the only thing that we are doing. So this is the part where we will drop an image. And you see the value is created. To cross check if the value is correct or not, we have opened up a URL on internet. So it is a decoder of base 64. We'll just paste it here and click on decode base 64 image. You see the image, same image that is here. I just double click to showcase the image. The same image is decoded here also. So yeah, that's it for today's video. In the next video, we'll learn the reverse. That is how to convert base 64 into an image. Thank you very much. We'll see you in another video.